Senator Lindsey Graham taking a bold stand on a key priority for the White House, backing a bill that would implement the first ever federal caps on greenhouse gas emissions. They're demanding some big changes to the suggested legislation, including a big push on nuclear power. Senator Lindsey Graham is a South Carolina Republican. He joins us now live. Senator, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you, Shannon. I'm not backing the Kerry Boxer bill, but I am backing the concept of uh, marrying climate change legislation with energy independence. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, I know that you uh, authored, co-authored an editorial with Senator Kerry, mm -hmm. talking about the things you do have in common, uh, and right. yet now the bill is out from Senator Kerry and Senator Boxer, and it's pretty radical by uh, the estimations right. of most Republicans. So where do you right. see the possibility of any common ground in getting something done? Well, environmental policy has to be good business policy or we're never going to have any environmental changes. Right now, the bills out of the House and the Senate are bad for business, but I could see environmental policy being good for business. I think it would be good for this country to become energy independent. Remember this drill here, drill now. What I would like to see is an offshore drilling provision added to the debate that will allow us to explore for oil and gas uh, in America off our coast with state permission. I want a nuclear power title that will create a nuclear renaissance. Nuclear power is the answer to climate change. It's also a way to create millions of jobs and make us more energy independent. So I want a nuclear title that will allow people to build nuclear power plants sooner rather than later, cheaper. And I also want to use the coal we've got. We've got 250 years of coal supplies. We need to invest in clean coal technology and not take coal off the table. If we can do that, drill offshore, have more nuclear power, use clean coal coal technology, I'm willing to have a reasonable cap and trade system. Until you start regulating carbon, which I think is doing some damage to the planet, green technology in this country is going to be hard to develop. Now, we saw uh, climate change legislation cap and trade, cap and tax. It has a lot of right, different names, depending right, right. on who you are, come right. through the House. <laughs> and, uh, you know, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, the, the lead Democrat there in the House, uh, right. expended a lot of political capital getting that passed. And then a number of Democrats right. even went home and said, I took serious right. heat when I went home and voted for this. Now the and Senate, they should have. And the Senate measure, though, is even tougher on businesses and, and yeah. other emissions issues. Yeah. So do you expect right. that something will pass on the Senate side? Not the way it is now. There's nowhere near 60 votes for a cap and trade system that puts a lot of uh, businesses out of business that will create large energy taxes for consumers. There's a way to make this good business. If you allowed this country to explore offshore for oil and gas, and to explore for our energy resources we have within the country, you could solve one of our big problems. $440 billion left this country last year to buy oil from overseas countries who don't like us very much. What if you could reduce that by half by finding American oil and gas so we wouldn't have to buy foreign oil and gas? That's part of what I'm trying to put on the table. What would happen in this country if you build 100 nuclear power plants in the next 30 years? It would create millions of jobs, and we need to use the coal that God has given us. So I want to become energy independent, and I'm also willing to help the planet uh, be a cleaner, safer place by controlling carbon in a way that doesn't put us in the dark or out of business. There's a lot of money to be made uh, from green technology. I want our country to lead, so we got to deal with carbon in some fashion. I want to do it in a reasonable fashion, but more than anything else, I want to create energy independence that will make us a safer nation, and you can do both, I think. Now, the piece that you co-authored with Senator Kerry, you, the two of you talk there about an honest give and take and about how this is going to take right. bipartisanship. Absolutely. Now, from looking from the outside in, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of bipartisanship happening on the Hill right now. We know <laughs> right. the measures that he went on to propose within days, you say is something you can't support. Are, are Republicans right. going to have a seat at the table when it comes to climate change? Well, there will be no climate change bill with my vote unless you have offshore oil and drilling in a meaningful way that will add to our inventories and create jobs. I won't vote for any uh, climate change bill that doesn't allow a dramatic increase in nuclear power. I'm not going to vote for any climate change bill that doesn't allow us to use our coal deposits. But the climate change bill has to be meaningful too. If we don't meaningfully control carbon, if you can still build a coal-fired plant, why in the world would you spend the extra money to do wind and solar? So you've got to have a balance here. We've got to control carbon in a way not to hurt our economy, to incentivize us to go to green technology, but we need also to explore for fossil fuels that we're going to need for generations until we get to a carbon-free economy. So I'm trying to buy, combine concepts. I'm not going to vote for a cap-and-trade bill that puts us at an economic disadvantage. I'm trying to create a good business opportunity 
uh, out of environmental policy. And right now our environmental policies are bad business. There's a way to make them good business. All right, Senator Lindsey Graham, always great to see you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, 18 minutes past the hour now. How